So using the same topology and configuration from part one of this video, let's go ahead and continue by looking at what exactly happens when you ping between PCs on the network, right? So flip over to simulation mode. Remember simulation mode actually allows us to see what's happening um, in the packet at the packet level and analyze that like as if we had Wireshark open. Um, what I did to actually just narrow this scope down, because you'll probably see a whole bunch of stuff here. Those are all the protocols Packet Tracer wants to look at. For us, you just hit show all, none, and then edit filters. We're going to go and select ICMP. Notice you can do this for IPv6 as well. We're not going to get into IPv6 until later on in this course, but just know for now that it's there. ICMP is Internet Control Message Protocol. Remember when we used ping? Well, ping is actually the tool that's using ICMP. Uh, in this case, you know, we had ping that address. Let's do it again, but notice the difference this time. I'm going to press up, and I'm going to start that ping. What gives? Didn't we get a reply immediately last time? Yeah, we did, but now since we're in simulation mode, we have to tell it to move each step of the way. So before we do that, click on the envelope. It's gonna actually, oops, it's gonna actually show what that packet looks like. So you see how this has the actual information based on the OSI model of the header going in and going out to that address, right? So we know our, de our destination is 11. You always have a source and a destination. Uh, which is something to keep in mind at all times with networking, is you always have a source and a destination. Skip forward and watch as this unfolds. It sends the, the message, packages it, and sends it to the switch. You can see what happened at the switch, and if the switch added anything to it, which it did, right? You can see that um, now we have some, some information about in, right? But what, when, what the switch did is on its port, it actually added the MAC address of the device and, you know, associated it with the port that it's connected to. So then the next step in this, the switch forwards it out. It will actually forward it out. If I had more than two devices, it will forward it out all of the ports to find this device, to find 0 0.11. Once it finds... 0 0.11 or the MAC address associated with 0 0.11, it will um, save that, that MAC address information here so this PC will know about it, right? So you'll notice here once it received it, we can check and see what the, the PDU and what PDU is protocol data unit. Sometimes people just use the term data or packet to refer to it, but the official term is a PDU, right? So OSI model here, we notice the destination still at, at 11. At some point, this will change to a ICMP reply because right now it's an ICMP request. Notice the types. ICMP has types, and you should go study those when you get the chance. So we can go skip ahead it's sending it back as a reply or a request or i'm sorry it is a reply and it gets back to the device and cool our process has been unpacked so isn't that cool we can see in depth what happens during a ping